Hey guys, it's me, Jackawaka, and we're here with RimWorld. Currently the game's in Alpha 17, um, I've decided to make a video on it just because Alpha 17 came out yesterday and I enjoy this game quite a bit. Um, the, the new Alpha brings pretty big stuff and I only know a tiny amount of it, so this, this should be fun. So today we're going to do the standard crash landed, but we're going to an ice plains. See how long it lasts. Um, we'll be going on Randy Random and Rough. So Randy Random um, means events don't have much pacing. It's random, completely random. So I could get a plague and an attack, or several attacks, just anything. Um, I could die immediately. Okay, so this is the world. Um, it's only rendered 30% of it, just because. We really need 30%, it's a huge world. Um, so let's have a look at our ice sections. Currently we're deciding where to stay. Um, obviously, it's ice sheets are pretty painful. So I think, just to give me a little edge, I'm gonna go... Yeah, I'm gonna go in large hills. Um, Oh, okay, the roads and the... <laughs> sorry, new things. The roads are a uh, new feature which connect different places together, allowing you to, like, travel and trade quicker. Um, I believe we're going to settle here because there's a bit of hill and it's in amongst everyone. Okay, so our characters are... Uh, Reagan Bootstiller, who um, can cook and can build stuff, but he's... Sort of useless at everything else. Uh, he's incapable of intellectual, as you can see. Um, he's got some good traits. Next is Velma Johannes Johansson Johansson. <laughs> um, bad at combat, bit social, good at crafting and intellectual. Um, she she's not very social. Oh, uh, okay. And then we got Anthony Tony Gallagher, which, oh, okay. Um, good medicine, good shooting, good intellectual, bad at everything else. So, we've got a nice balance. I'd, I'd say we'll be able to survive off this. Um, although he's a pyromaniac. I, um, and hyper. So, uh, he's gonna burn down the place uh, if any psychic stuff happens. <sighs> this is going to be fun. Okay, so the three of you awake in your crypto sleep sarcophagi. Um, to the sound of the sirens and the ripping metal, Belly managed to uh, escape and all of that stuff, you know, the standard RimWorld intro. Um, let's have a look at our map. Here's our three people. Let's just pause for a second. Outside it is nine degrees. S straight away, nine degrees. Um, good. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna get working on a base blueprint. Okay, so I've uh, set up the uh, basics of our base at the moment. Um, this area here is going to be the basic stockpile, this area is going to be the um, kitchen, so later we can turn the stockpile into a freezer quite quickly. Um, three bedrooms here for each person, and a little battery storage for the moment. Uh, I'm going to have to make these corridors bigger actually, but aside from that I believe that is our basic structure. Weapons wise, I've got Tony with the survival rifle because he has 9 shooting. I've got Boots with the knife because she's got 5 melee and that may as well give you um, Johansson the pistol because I guess she could help. I don't know. As well as uh, making sure your character's needs are met, they also um, need to remain happy or they, um, they have mental breakdowns and stuff. So. Straight away, we need to just 
shove some beds in here. Um, even though it's our stockpile, we're going to make everyone dump everything in here. Um, but we're going to build some beds temporarily, just because, um, well, we need them uh, for people to be comfy. So, the main issue with the ice planes, as you may have guessed, is it's cold. Meaning, not much grows here. Well, nothing grows here. So, we've got to keep an eye on our wood stock, because we can't, like, just cut down any trees outside or anything like that. Um, and it is currently our source of heat, so that's, that's where the challenge comes in with ice planes. There we go, look at them little, little sleepy fellas. In the snow. Where's the cat? Oh, there you are. Okay, so we've got a cat called Beryl, um, who joined. He just ate some of the food. Um, got a cat called Beryl. Just a little, little, just a little cat. Uh, can't be trained to do any. Oh, straight away there is a snow hare that's gone insane. I guess that's good because it's food. <laughs> we got free food. Okay, so if we stop Tony from mining and we send him over here, he should be able to snipe the rabbit when it comes down. As you can see, it's scooting along and it's being shot at and it's dead. That was quick. That'll do. Um, I'm going to make a tiny stockpile here for dead animals, which we won't have many of. So I guess I'll make it small. Johansson, clean this place up. It looks like a mess. There's pebbles everywhere. Oh, and you failed to build the... <laughs> good start, good start. And apparently there was a little bit of romance there. So... Oh, no, 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 there was no romance. Uh, Tony got rebuffed. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, so, if get power working, that'll be good. I just realized I made a wooden door. You know how I, uh, I said wood's valuable? <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's been used on a door. Okay, we've been here a while, now uh, we can call our faction something. Um... Seen as though we're in the snow, I'll call it snowy. I, I have no idea, to be honest. Um, abomination. Abominable snowman. Abomination. Yeah. And then, and then abomi. Hey, see what I did there? It's, yep, good one. It's... Ugh, kill me now. And our actual colony is going to be called uh, Snow Ridge. Snow Right, okay. <laughs> yep, Snow Right. <laughs> sure, I'll roll with it. So I've uh, just been told we've got low food, so I'm going to actually start up a little garden thing. Um, is this just snow? Oh, it's ice. Uh, so, as I was saying before, we got to find gravel to grow on stuff, which there's, there's a patch here, I think. I'm gonna... Oh, we don't have any metal. So I'm gonna wait until I um, create some bricks before I actually spend any more stuff. We can actually have a little garden. Um, I mean... It's... it's doesn't... we're running out of food. Doesn't look good for Beryl here. Um, I don't want to kill you, please. Beryl, no. No. <laughs> please don't make us do this. I don't want to kill Beryl. No. Johansson's almost going insane. 
good to know. Alright, <laughs> Johansson's starving. We actually have to kill the uh, cat now. I don't, <laughs> don't want to kill you, Beryl, but... Is there any other food? No, I don't want to kill Beryl. No. Oh. I'm gonna have to kill Beryl. Johansson, you're the one starving. You're gonna be eating your own pet cat so you don't die. This is horrible. Rimworld's a horrible game. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Poor Beryl. No, do not eat the meat now. Cook. There we go. No, you stop. There we go. Johansson needs food. Look at her. She's starving to death. You're also starving, and you're... Oh. Okay. Um... Tony? This really isn't looking good. Um, Tony's starving, Johansson's starving, Boots is starving. Um, there's no food. There, there is no food. This is not good. Um, yes, okay, the plants can grow. Not ideal temperature though. And the light went out. See everyone's health. Severe new. Oh, okay. This is not good. Severe illness. Um. Tend. I can't feed because there's no food. Um. I'm not gonna have to resort to cannibalism, am I? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Boots. Boots is our builder. Can anyone else build? Badly. Um, am I gonna have to? We're gonna have to kill her. No. <laughs> First the cat, and then her. We're actually going to have to kill her because there's no food around, and this is going to take several days. What's it? She's, everyone's starving. No! Okay. Uh, Boots, I'm sorry to do this to you. But you're going to have to die. Goodbye, Boots. You will be missed. No, don't eat. Don't eat a straight away. At least... <laughs> what? No! You're horrible. <laughs> no! You, you can't just shoot her and then eat her. You gotta at least prepare the food. No! Stop that. No. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop eating your friend like that. We have materials. Butcher, there you go. Uh, look at the clothes. So that's, uh, that's one, <laughs> one person down, I guess. Right, make all the meals you can. Johansson, luckily you have the food now. Okay, no. Quick, rescue it. I'm not gonna let everyone die immediately. Feed, feed Johansson. Feed up. Extreme malnutrition, uh, she's fed. 
she is not happy. <laughs> At least those two are in love. He didn't have to kill his wife. Um... You, <laughs> screw you, Randy Random. Why didn't you give me any food? Ugh. I guess it's my fault for not growing this in time. Nine percent. The corn is cooked. Nine percent. Corn better be the fast one. Takes a long time. <laughs> Damn it. It was rice. R rice. Cook the rice. Screw the corn. Johansson, redo the field. Just, just put rice everywhere. I've wasted several days on this. Oh no! We need rice urgently. Yep, Tony's starving. <laughs> and Johansson's gone insane. She's got a gun and she's wandering around. She left the door open. You monster! Just, just walk through the... Oh, no, Johansson's back to normal. Okay, what? She got mad, wandered around with a gun for a bit, and then was like, Ah, yeah, sure, I, I, I'm going to die soon, so I may as well make rice. Two lovers surviving together, both starving to death. Who's gonna starve first? Ooh! <gasps> okay, so a refugee is currently being hunted by pirates. So let's offer safety and then eat the um, raiders. Kyle, okay, let's see what you can do. You can do absolutely nothing. You are now food for these people. <laughs> if you survive. Or you could haul stuff. Okay. It's the raid. Let's see who's it. It's a guy with a knife. Okay. Right. Let's go hunting, Tony. Um. Johansson, gonna need your help with the gun. Kyle. Oh, Kylie, not Kyle. Um. <laughs> at least you're well fed. I believe in you. Just shoot whilst Tony runs. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> run, Tony, run. In fact, melee, melee. Oh no, 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 no. Johansson, you got it. Yes. Right, run, Johansson. Kill him, please. No. Johansson's getting cut. Yes. Kill him. We have to kill him. There's no other choice. Oh, he's dead. Good, good, good. Right. So we don't have a medical bed. Let's just set that as a medical bed. And let's... <laughs> let's butcher him up. <laughs> this is horrible. My immediate reaction to a raid is, oh yeah, there's more food. Yep, good news is everyone's alive at this moment in time. Bad news is Kylie's just eaten the last of the food. Whilst Tony was starving to death. Good. So who's starving? Tony's starving. Kyle, Kylie. <laughs> I am so sorry. But now is your time. I'm sorry, Kylie. Please don't make this any worse. That was brutal. Not gonna get anything out of her, you've just shot her to pieces. No, don't eat the raw meat. What have I told you about that? When's this rice gonna grow? Ooh! Fire. Um Tony, Tony, stop. Stop it, Tony. 
Yeah, Hanson, you're gonna have to... Um, Tony, why did you do this? Please, no, I don't. It's a good thing everything's made out of slate. There we go. Pretend. Tony, why do you have to do this? Tony's died because of heat stroke. 